does math in some way prove that God exists? We're going to talk about that, and we're going to talk about pi on today's edition of the Truth for New Generation webcast. Not apple or blueberry, but 3.14. Hi, Alex McFarland, and thanks for watching the Truth for a New Generation webcast. You know, I love math. I was not good in math at school. In fact, I was pretty terrible at math, but I really love math, and I think one of the beautiful things about mathematics is it points to the fact that there has to be a God, a creator. You know, Psalm 19, verse 1 says that the heavens and earth declare the glory of God or bear witness to the glory of God. I would submit to you, my friends, that in an atheistic world, a world without God, we would not have a lot of things, but we would not have math. Einstein said this, that math points to an order in the world, and he, he observed this. Albert Einstein said, how could it be that math, which is the product of the human mind, so accurately describes the physical world? He believed that it was because there was a God, a creator, who was the foundation of the order and the structure of the world. Now, let's specifically talk about one realm of math, and uh, it's the subject of pi and half of pi. Okay, pi is 3.14, and then half phi, or sometimes pronounced phi, which is 1.6. I've collected a lot of books on pi. Huh, again, not recipe books. Here's one called the, the Divine Proportion, pi, in art, nature, and in science. Here's one, the joy of pi. And I've got so many, I couldn't bring them all on set. But one of my favorite authors, uh, an astrophysicist named Mario Livio, who I believe is a Christian, but he asked the question, is God a mathematician? Now, a lot of people have asked this question, like Johann Kepler and Francis Bacon, because here's the thing, folks. In a world without God, that's called naturalism. And people that will only see the world in non-supernatural terms, that's called methodological naturalism. But yet we have something that is objective, absolute, and non-physical. We have math. Now, now think about it. Math is objective. Nobody dreamed it up. We've discovered it. But math has been uh, recognized by all these different cultures independently of each other. And math is absolute. Uh, one writer said that the, the child can whine 2 plus 2 is 3, and the critic can demand that 2 plus 2 is 5, but the mathematician documents 2 plus 2 is 4. It's absolute. And do you know it's really an enigma? I uh, interviewed uh, the chair of the math department at a major university in Texas. He said, philosophers are trying to understand just what math is. He said, it's, it's eerie, it's really almost spiritual. I believe it is. We're going to come back to that in just a moment. Uh, but I want to encourage you to share these videos, if you would, publicly. You're automatically entered to win our once-a-week book giveaway, in this case, my book, The Assault on America, What We Must Do to Defend Our Country. I want to send this book to you, or you can get it online at Amazon. Or I would encourage you to go to Barnes & Noble, support your local Barnes & Noble. This book is in every Barnes & Noble, and we need to have a moral and spiritual revival in our country. And I believe this book will contribute to that. Let's talk about the glory of God in his creation. Mario Livio, uh, he quotes one of his fellow scientists who says, look, I'm not sure if God is a mathematician, but math is the loom on which God weaves the fabric of reality. It's, it's uncanny, really, how ubiquitous pi is. The foliage on plants grows out in spirals that are multiples of pi. The fins on a fish, from the nose to the tail to the dorsal fin, even facial features. One of the reasons they call it the divine proportion is because artists have known that the, uh, the width and the length and the proportions in a painting need to be in a certain in a certain perspective, and it's always like a multiple of pi. Why is math and specifically pi, so common in reality because there's a design. And where there's a design, there's a designer. And part of that design includes the beauty of math from the, from the infinite mind of God 
yes, the great mathematician, our creator and savior, who has allowed himself to be revealed in his creation. Think about that, and we'll see you next time on the Truth for a New Generation webcast.